Hey everyone, how's it going? So with all the hype of the new Spider-Man movie coming out, I thought it'd be fun to start showing you how to draw some of the different villains from the movie. And to start off with this, I'm going to show you guys how to draw the Green Goblin. So I hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with the Green Goblin from Spider-Man No Way Home, let's begin with the face. So we want to start right about here, and we're just going to draw, a little line's going to come down, over, and then up. So starting here, we'll just make a little line's going to go down, it's going to come over, and then it's going to come up. Now, starting over here, I'm going to bring this line and we're going to curve it up nice and tall. And then we're just going to bring it down a little bit. Now, right in the middle here, we want to make the nose. So I'm going to begin by just drawing a little line that comes down. We're going to make a line that's going to come down to a point and then it's going to curve over. They'll make a little line that's going to come up and down. And we'll do a little line that's going to come down and then back here. Now starting here, we're going to draw a little line that's going to curve up. And then we're going to draw another little line that's going to curve down and then up here. Right here, we'll make a little line that comes down. Then we're just going to bring this across for the top of the mouth. Then we want to bring this line down. We're going to make it come over with a straight line. Then we're going to bring it up like this. Inside of here, there's going to be some teeth, so we're going to make some small, little, sharp triangle teeth and one outside the mouth, and we'll do the same thing at the bottom here. Starting here, we're going to add a little curved line, and then I'll add another one over here, right underneath the eyes. Right here, we're going to make a line that's going to go out and then in. And then we're going to bring it up just a bit. Right here we're just going to come down and then go up. Right here we'll make a long line that's going to go down and in. And another one's going to go over and then up for some details on the mouth. Right here let's make a nice long line that comes down. We'll make a line that comes over. And then we're going to come up here. Next, we'll make a little line that's going to come out, and then it's going to come in just a little bit. Next, I'm going to take this line, I'm going to go down, and then I'm going to bring it up just a bit. Starting here, we're going to make the ears. So let's draw a line that's going to come out and it's going to go up. We're going to bring it into with like a curve. Then we're going to make it come out and then down here. Then we're going to take this line, we're going to come out, we're going to bring it up and then down. Then I'm going to take this line, I'm going to bring it up a little bit farther, and then we're going to come down here. Next, we're going to draw a little line, it's going to go over, and then it's going to come up. And then we're going to make a little line, it's going to curve up here. Now we want to start drawing the body on our green goblin. So. Starting over here, let's begin by drawing a line that's going to come out, and that's going to curve in. Then right here we're going to make a line that's going to come down, that's going to go over. 
We're gonna leave some space, we're gonna curve over, and then up. Right over here, we're just going to draw a line that's gonna come over. Make a little line that's gonna come up, and down here. Starting here, let's draw a long line that's gonna curve down. And then we'll kind of bring this line up just a little bit. Starting here, we're gonna draw a line that comes out. And then we'll make another line that's gonna come up here. Then we'll add one more out here. Next right here, we're gonna draw a line that's gonna go out. And then it's gonna come down. And another one's gonna go out, and then it's gonna come in. Starting here, let's draw a line that's going to come down. It's gonna curve around and up for a thumb. Then we're gonna add a little line that's just going to go out. It's gonna come down, and then curve around here. Next, we're gonna make a little circle shape to here, and then we'll add another little line over here for another finger. Then we'll make a little line that's gonna come up and in. Now, over here, we're going to draw a line that's gonna come out. It's gonna come down at an angle. And then we're gonna draw a little line that's gonna come out, and that's gonna come back here. We're gonna draw a line that's gonna come up and in. And then we're just gonna draw a line to here. Now, for this arm over here, we're gonna make this come out, so we're gonna go out. And then we're going to come out here. We're gonna draw a line that's just going to come down. Then we're gonna draw a line that's gonna come out here. Starting here, we're gonna draw a line that's gonna go around for a thumb, it's gonna curve. Then we're gonna draw a line that's gonna come down here for another finger. We'll draw another line here for another one, and a line in here. We'll draw another little line over here, and we're gonna connect this. Now, starting up here, we're gonna draw this other leg. It's gonna be kind of a little bit higher than this one. So let's start here. We're just gonna draw a line that's going to come down. We're gonna make this line come over, and then come down here. Then we're gonna bring it in a little bit. And we're gonna draw a line that's gonna come down. It's gonna go over and then up here. This looks like it's kinda of a little bit higher, like he's riding on his glider. Next, we're gonna make a little line that comes over. And a little line that comes down. Starting here, we're gonna draw a little line that comes in and then down. So now here's our basic shape of our green goblin. Now we just want to come in here and add some of the different details on here. And there's lots of different details. We're going to keep it kind of simple. So right up here, we're going to just begin by curving this line in. We'll make a little line that comes in, then we're going to go down. I'm going to bring this in here, and then we're just going to come up. Starting here, we're gonna draw a line that's gonna go up and then it's gonna curve down. We're gonna go in and up. Starting here, we're gonna draw a line that's gonna go over, it's gonna go up and over again. We'll do the same thing, we'll go over, up, 
over, and then up. Right here, we're gonna make a long line that comes down, and we're gonna put some little lines right across here. Next, I'm gonna make a little line that comes down. I'm gonna curve it around and up here. I'm gonna make another one right here, and one more is gonna curve up and around. Up here, we're gonna make a little line that's gonna curve to here. And we're gonna make a little line that's gonna go down and then around. Right here on the chest, we're gonna draw this line up. We're gonna bring it over and then it's gonna curve to here. Then we're gonna go up. We're gonna bring it up and then curve down. Next, I'm gonna bring this line down and we're gonna curve this up. And then I just like to add a bunch of little lines in here. This is kind of like where the part for his neck is. Right here, let's draw a line that's gonna come down and back and we'll do a couple more. Then right here, we're gonna make a little line that's gonna go over, it's gonna go down, it's gonna come up, over, and then back down. Make a little line that comes over and another one that comes over. Next we're going to make a little line that comes down. We're going to go over and then we're going to bring it up. Here we'll do the same thing. We're going to go over and then bring it up. And I'm just going to do the same thing a couple times on here. Over here, let's make a line that goes down and up. One more, and then one more there. Then we're gonna add a little line that's gonna come down and over, and then another one across here. Then let's connect a line to here. I'm also gonna connect a line over here. Now for his little bomb, let's make a little circle in there. And then we're going to make a couple little lines coming across here. Starting here, let's make a line that goes over. It's going to come up. And then we're going to curve around here. We'll do another one that comes down, over. And we're just going to kind of repeat this little shape here. Over here, we're just gonna make lines gonna come down, it's gonna go over and then up. We'll make lines goes down and in, go down and in. Then we're gonna make a little rectangle shape in here. Do the same thing here, curve down, and make a little rectangle shape, curve down, and then a little rectangle shape. Then right here, we'll make line comes over and up, and another one's gonna go over and up. And then a little line curves down. Over here, we'll draw a little line across. Make a line that comes up, over and down. Then we're gonna make a little line across here. Right here, I'm gonna make a couple little lines that come across. And then over here, we're just gonna make a couple little points. And there you go, there is your drawing of the Green Goblin from the new Spider-Man No Way Home. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.